Hey, what is good everybody? In this video, we're gonna be setting up Vulcan on Mac OS and we're gonna try and do that as quickly as possible in under 10 minutes. Hopefully, I can achieve that goal. So without wasting any time, let's dive straight into it. So if you don't have Vulkan already installed, what you wanna do is head over to Google and search Vulkan SDK download. And then you're gonna get these two links, right? I suggest you just click on the second one because it takes you directly to the download page. And then what you wanna do is click on the Apple logo to take you directly down to the place where you can download the Vulkan SDK for your Mac OS and then here you're gonna be choosed you're gonna be blessed with a variety of choices for Vulkan versions that you can basically download if you already know what you're doing then I guess you're gonna choose the version that you want but if you don't know what you're doing then I suggest just get the latest version for now and then download that I already downloaded it and it has been already downloaded however I don't really have the latest version I already have my old version so once you've downloaded Vulkan, basically what you want to do is basically unzip it and then store that into a secure location. I actually moved it away from my downloads folder into another secure location where I know I will not actually be able to delete it by mistake at all. Okay, once you have that location, what you want to do is open it up, then go down to Mac OS and then go down to the include section and then what you want to do is you want to open up a terminal because we're going to use the terminal to actually get the address of this folder okay so what you want to do now is to basically drag click and drag that folder hold on click and drag wait a minute why is it yeah click and drag it into the terminal and then you're going to get this uh, address here what you want to do is basically copy it and then come back to our project folder if you remember from our previous video um, we actually set this up uh, to basically show you guys how to make up how to make static dynamic libraries so we're gonna use this project basically to also illustrate how to basically link up with Vulkan right so since we copied the include file directory what you want to do is basically type in a dash capital I and then paste in the directory directory that we copied over from our terminal and now we've basically linked up the include files with our library okay so therefore what we want to do next is also link up with the library uh, directory and this is as simple as just changing the include file here into a lib and then what you want to do next is just copy this and then come back here and then you're going to type in a dash L, capital L for library. And then just paste in that directory that we copied over from the terminal. And then link up with the library itself, just with that lowercase L, and then type in Vulkan. And once you've done that, that is literally everything that you need to basically link up with the Vulkan API SDK or whatever you want to call it. And then what you want to do next is come over to our engine header file. And here we want to actually include our Vulkan header so we're gonna just say vulcan slash vulcan dot h you can choose H hpp if you're on c plus plus but since i'm on c i'm gonna use with just a single h shouldn't really matter but then yeah i just like to keep the convention right there now we're gonna test if the vulcan actually the vulcan sdk is actually properly installed to do so we're gonna create a vk instance and then we're gonna call it an instance right then we're gonna create a vk uh create instance wait instance 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 create info and then we're gonna call this a create info uh let me just do this create info and it's gonna be an, an empty struct here uh, let's just leave it like that and then we're gonna create a vk create instance all right so we're gonna try and create our instance so vk create instance now this is going to take in all the variables we've just created and if you really want to see what it takes in you can see it takes in a create instance info which is a pointer so we're going to pass in the address of the uh, create info that we created and then we're going to pass in now for our allocation callbacks because we don't have any at the moment and then we're going to basically link it up with our instance that we created above and that's literally it but then vk instance create VK instance actually um, um, returns a, a VK result. So we're gonna basically store this into a variable. So we're gonna say VK result, and then we're gonna call this result 
and then we're gonna say it's equals to VK create okay now I'm getting okay yeah it's fixed okay so now we're gonna check if that result right is equals to um, VK success okay and if it is then we simply need to print out um, uh, instance created success fully right and then we're just gonna do a new line and then if it's not created otherwise VK instance is not a VK instance success then it's going to be a VK of failure or something and then we're gonna say instance failed to create and then we're gonna pass in a um, error code we're gonna retrieve the error code actually and to retrieve it we're just gonna do a placeholder of D over there and then we're just gonna say the value of result now please note <laughs> this code is not actually going to create a VK instance because there's a whole lot of things that I'm missing in order for us to actually create a VK instance successfully however the whole point of this is just to check if the Vulkan SDK is actually implemented correctly okay so now we're gonna save everything and then we're gonna come back down here and say make all and then we're going to get an error and that's because I actually <laughs> misspelled the printf functions so I'm gonna do make again and then you're gonna see that it says here VK instance created created failed and then it gave us an error code of negative 9 this means that the Vulkan SDK has been successfully created and if you want to know what this VK.9 means all you gotta do is just search VK result on Google and then you'll be taken to this manual page and then you're gonna see all of the different um, uh, result codes that you can basically get and the one that we got was negative 9 which means incompatible driver now the reason why we're getting an incompatible driver is essentially we on Mac and there's something that we need to set up first so that Vulcan knows what drivers that we want to make use of so that for so that it can actually create a proper VK instance. So in this scenario, we do have the proper drivers, but we haven't actually implemented the other logic to point to that driver, basically, so that Vulkan can run. So ladies and gentlemen, this is how you set up Vulkan on a Mac OS. I hope you really enjoyed this video, and if you wanna see more videos in the future, please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys on the next one. And if you really want me to continue with this Vulcan setup thing, like literally where we buy, we literally set up a whole Vulcan um, engine so that you guys can start creating your own graphics stuff, you know, let me know in the description below and I'll definitely try and implement that series for you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Once again, I'll see you guys in the next. Cheers.